so last week we saw a contest on their website actually it was on Facebook for their Facebook page these guys were giving away a solar window charger but they also gave me a bunch of other really cool things um, this bag is kind of awesome it's got the drawstrings the dual drawstrings so I guess you could wear it like a backpack if you really wanted to um, they gave me a shirt which will actually fit me that's impressive nobody has shirts that actually fit me and a hat I love hats although my dog's white hair will show up pretty good on this black hat we're gonna keep it put up until my new solar panel arrives I was so happy with these guys I, I went ahead and chose them when I decided to purchase a new newer upgraded solar panel kit um, I bought a hundred watt folding kit from them we'll probably do the video for that and the video for this together I don't know I, I might do them separately um, anyways this is the window charger that I won on their Facebook page There we go, there's the outlets. USB, micro USB, and it comes with a flat style cord, which I really like, because they don't tangle quite like the other ones. I haven't actually had a chance to mess with this one yet. I, I believe this is the sticky pad with the, the, that's gonna stick it to the window. Um, there's, of course, an instruction booklet. And we'll go through all that. We'll probably do a, a install video once I decide exactly where I'm going to put this, whether I want to put it in the front where the window's angled and gets more sun, or am I going to put it in the back where I'm always at and where all of my devices usually are. So we'll figure it out. But, yeah, this is, this is freaking awesome. And the quality's impressive. I, I ordered a refurbished backpack kit from them uh, is if you have been watching my videos you know I've been using a 45 watt Harbor Freight kit for the last four or five years and it's been pretty good it's, it's it, you know it's done it's made enough juice for me to get by on let's put it that way but now we're going to be doubling oh wow That'll go on the window. I wished I'd have seen this. I would have used this this morning when I placed my order. Oh, well, it's for accessories anyway. And the only accessory I got with my kit was the controller, which already comes with it, a 10-amp controller. Um, you can get the refurbished kit from Renogy. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the refurbished Renogy kit, 100-watt folding suitcase style, was 188 plus tax and free shipping so 200 bucks altogether uh, hopefully it'll look as nice as the small one when it gets here I'm pretty impressed with this so yeah that's that's that okay so my solar panel showed up today actually it showed up a couple days ago but it was missing the charge controller and they wanted me to send the entire unit back. I understand why now, the charge controller. I mean, I'm sure I could remove it myself, but it's just about built onto the thing. Um, and because I'm in California, it literally gets here next day. That's regular shipping. That's, you know, unless they're paying for overnight, maybe, maybe they are. I don't know. But uh, what I had paid for was a refurbished unit. It's a much better deal than the regular price. Um, you get a refurbished unit for 189 after tax and everything. I believe it's 202 out the door or 206, something like that. This is a folding 100 watt Renogy kit. Um, I think when they sent me out this next one, I think they actually sent me a brand new unit. They didn't say that, but 
The first one I got was packaged a little differently and it did not have a booklet in it. This one came packaged, the first one was just in a box. This one came packaged in a, like some serious shipping. I don't know how to say it without, I should have took a video. Oh well, I'll learn. You'd think I'd know, take a video of everything, but. Um, yeah, I, I threw the packaging away. Anyways, it's a different kind of packaging. And it leads me to believe that since they sent me one without a charge controller by mistake, they have upgraded me from refurbished to brand new. I could be wrong. This is the charge controller. It was missing the first time. But yeah, this puts out twice the power of my old Harbor Freight panel and takes up a fraction of the space, especially when you take into consideration all the space that's used up by that gigantic frame that my Harbor Freight panel used to go on. Uh, I can't wait till we get a little sun and I can try this. It's been raining for the last couple days. It's a quick connector. Fairly heavy-duty clamps, much, much more heavy-duty than my Harbor Freight clamps, that's for darn sure. Um, although the Harbor Freight clamps, i got to give them credit, you know, I've, it's, it was only a 45-watt kit, and it has worked well for me for about five years now, so I can't say too Okay, so today we're going to hook up the solar panel that we got from Renogy. Okay, so we've got the panels set up. Pretty good sun going today, especially considering it's February. Under here is the charge controller. But it's so sunny out here, I can't see my screen, so hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go into monitoring. The panels right now are putting out 13.9, the battery's at 13.8, it's 5.5 amps, and I've got my TV running and a tablet charging inside. It would probably be a little bit different reading if I didn't have those going, but those, those don't take a whole lot of draw. Uh, this has a special remote sensor. That you can run to the battery if you want so you can get a accurate temperature reading of the battery and then the whole thing just tucks back up under there I use a pill bottle to keep my positive clamp from hitting you know stuff um, just put a little hole in there, run the wire through, and then use a big alligator clamp. You know, big enough that it won't try to go through that hole. And then when I'm done, I put the cap on. And that way I've got an easy to access hot or positive and negative lead coming off the battery which is now run over to this side. It was on the other side. I moved it over here last night because it's just, um, I was having an issue running too many devices at once. I think the wire was just too long. I've shortened the length of wire, so there's less drop now. Um, seems to have solved the problem. I can run everything without making my little tiny power inverter reset itself. So yeah, this is going to go on my back window tomorrow. I'd do it right now, but it's middle of the night. Do what you want in life, and don't let anyone tell you you can't. <laughs>